Quick, graph y equals the square root of x plus 3 by hand. This is part of the family of functions series. So the first way we'll do this is with what we're going to call the radical dance. So normally we'd start at the origin, but because of the plus 3, we need to shift each point up 3 units. So we're going to start at 0, 3. So let's plot that. And then from that point, we're going to do what we call the radical dance, which is write 1, up 1, because the square root of 1 is 1. Write 4, up 2 from that point, because the square root of 4 is 2. And write 9, up 3, because the square root of 9 is 3. Connecting the points, we get y equals the square root of x plus 3. So let's go ahead and also place the parent function there, y equals the square root of x. And if you can see, from the blue to the green graph is moved up three units. In fact, we could even grab that parent function and see that it's identically the same, it's just in a different spot. It's just moved, been moved up or translated up three units. A second way would be using a table. So here's our square root of x table that we will use. And again, uh, we'll make the square root of x plus 3 in green. Adding 3 to each of the y coordinates, again, because of what's in the equation. So 0 goes to 3, and we'll plot it. 1 goes to 4, and we'll plot that one. 2 increases up to 5, so 4 comma 5. And 3 increases up to 6, so 9 comma 6. Connecting the points, we get y equals the square root of x plus 3 again in a different way. And again, we'll show the parent function to show how they're related.